Hi, my name is Joe Smart Trujillo. I'm a co-president of the PTO at Peninsula Prep Academy. Um, we're trying to save our school from closure. The Department of uh, Education's charter office has decided not to renew our charter. Um, the parents are very concerned um, because some of the options uh, that we were afforded by the Department of Education is to send our kids to their locally zoned schools, uh, the majority, the super majority of which uh, performed worse than Peninsula Prep, and thereby making the logic of closing Peninsula Prep for quote-unquote poor performance uh, a little bit confusing to most parents. Um, not to mention that the schools in Rockaway, uh, for uh, many reasons, are uh, overcrowded and underfunded as is, and uh, we're not here to, uh, you know, you know bash public schools, we're here to defend public education and we feel like Peninsula Prep is one of the most important uh, institutions for learning in the Rockaways and we've made great strides and um, we feel like the closure would affect education on the Peninsula as a whole um, and also we feel like the gains that we've made um, academic and otherwise um, are some things that the, uh, the, the, uh, the Department of Education has failed to uh, take note of and um, we feel like we're being lost in the bureaucracy and that the Department of Education um, is oblivious to the local conditions uh, and the reality on the ground here in Rockaway um, and so we're asking that everyone please uh, give us your support and help us defend not only our school but public education as a whole. Right, so tell us about what's going on. So right now our plan of action, we've been organizing with parents. We've been really trying to work outside of the process and uh, we're going to we're going to utilize our democratic rights to uh, set up a rally, possibly a rolling rally, um, starting this Wednesday. Um, we're going to have a rally at about 4 o'clock after school. We've invited teachers, we've invited some press, um, we've invited uh, Chancellor Walcott and uh, elected officials as well. Um, we're going to really stand up for the, for the school, make it known, and uh, possibly have it rolling every Wednesday at least until we start to really uh, get some back and forth with the department. Um, we're also doing weekly meetings on Tuesdays with the parents. Um, we usually have monthly meetings. We're going to make them into weekly meetings to really try to make sure we all stay organized and on the same page. Um, ultimately, we want to have a rally down at the, the steps of the Department of Education in Man Lower Manhattan uh, at the end of the month to really hammer home. And we're going to invite outside organizations as well. Uh, a few outside organizations expressed interest. But we want to really hammer home the point that uh, the Department of Education, and even and to the and to the great extent, the City Hall does not see the ground level uh, situation of the Rockaways, and they've thrown Rockaways basically um, out to dry, hung them out to dry, and they think they can run roughshod over our community, and that we're not going to uh, just allow ourselves to be trampled over whether it's education or economic uh, or political as well, we feel disenfranchised and the closing of PPA represents just the latest uh, example of that. And uh, we hope to take it to City Hall and we look to work with other uh, schools, work with other uh, community leaders to make a stand for public education.